Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jackson Liu, and I'm currently a final year student studying buying and merchandising in London College of Fashion. This video is going to present the current situation about packaging waste in the fashion industry and promote the use of sustainable packaging in business. The arguments will be presented from multiple perspectives. Firstly, current packaging waste phenomenon will be introduced. Then, the consumer attitudes and some sustainable packaging examples in the fashion industry will be discussed. And finally, strategic recommendations will be proposed for companies. An early sustainable issue was plastic pollution. This is a beach on the island of Java. The sand is fee deep in shopping bags, bottles, and plastic clothes, and a large amount of plastic flows into the ocean. A local woman said, We fear for the future. If it carries on like this, we'll be buried in plastic. Looking at a bigger picture, the UK alone generates 2.4 million tons of packaging waste each year. In worldwide, more than 9 billion tons of plastic have been produced, while only 10% has been recycled properly. About 500 billion plastic bags are used every year, with an average working life of only 15 minutes. One of the most significant contributing factors is e-commerce, which was boomed in the coronavirus pandemic, so the packaging waste is facing mounting challenge. The products have to be packed with extra layers to keep safe during shipping, and the phenomenon of over-packaging also leads to more single-use packaging waste. Some people thought paper-based packaging would be a possible solution. However, the life cycle assessments suggest the production of paper-based packaging actually requires about three times more energy input than plastic and results in more emissions of greenhouse gases. Therefore, improving the life cycle of packaging and developing sustainable solutions are essential, which is also supported by the UK government who has committed to reaching net zero carbon emission by 2050. The government has also set out clear regulations on recycling packaging and reducing its waste. The customers are also paying more attention to sustainable issues, especially after experiencing the global health crisis. According to a McKinsey survey, 61% of respondents are more concerned about the sustainability and the negative impact of packaging waste on the environment than the time before pandemic. Some brands have searched for more sustainable approaches. For example, Zara is reusing boxes to extend their life cycle. It uses 100% recycled bags and cardboard boxes in stores and delivered online orders with previously used boxes, and they can be used up to five times before being recycled. It's also helpful to cut down the quantity of packaging. For example, PVH, as the parent company of Calvin Klein, has saved nearly 200 tons of plastic by reducing the thickness of poly bags. Amazon's brand Tide also developed a new eco box with 60% less plastic. In addition, the bio-based packaging bears a huge potential in the future. They are made of plants and synthetic polymer, which can completely biodegrade into the environment without incurring any harmful chemicals. A significant reduction of greenhouse gas emissions can also be seen in the production process. Brands such as Maggie Marilyn and Reformation have introduced compostable bags in deliveries, which deliver equal performance as plastic bags. They are foldable and durable, with a soft and good texture. They are also capable for bespoke printings and packing different types of products, but with a less competitive price. Fortunately, as analysis from Draper stated, in the UK, over half of the consumers are willing to pay more to avoid plastic packaging. And Stephen Corley, the head of sustainability at John Lewis, also said that consumers have expressed their willingness to help them reduce the impact on planet and support recycling packaging. However, in the era of conscious consumerism, there's often a gap between what people say and what they do. According to CTV News, it's demonstrated that 83% of people would not be willing to pay 2.5% premium although nearly 90% of them are aware of the importance of green alternatives on packaging. The lack of information and transparency is a key driver of price concerns. A report from Smurfy Kappa suggests that more than two-thirds of consumers find it hard to know which sustainable practices have been adopted by brands. They are also unsure where the extra money they paid for sustainability goes. 
The brand Everlane proposed a concept called radical transparency, which attracted a large amount of fans quickly. They explicitly outlined the cost structure of their products on their website to help address this information asymmetry and enhance brand credibility among consumers. Therefore, to stop the disruption of environment, fashion companies must contribute and commit to more sustainable actions, along with business growth. The industry must reduce and avoid disposable plastics, and look for alternative sourcing opportunities to save energy and prevent pollution. Companies must leverage the five R's in packaging waste management, which stands for refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. The buyer merchandising team also needs to source more biodegradable materials, as their sustainability and excellent performance will bring multiple benefits to the society. As most consumers would only accept a small price premium, it will be useful to provide a cashback to customers after returning packaging to stores. Also, a more transparent cost structure will be useful to address consumers' concerns about the higher price they paid. In conclusion, companies need to take responsibilities by refusing, reducing, reusing, and recycling plastic wastes, as well as developing more biodegradable packaging and improving supply chain transparency. These sustainable means of packaging will become the next norm in the near future. Thank you for listening.